Hello and welcome to this episode of Six Minutes. I'm your host Cecil Brown and today we're taking a look at CCTV cameras and their crime solving potential, webcam security and the watchers who watch the watchers. First up we take a look at CCTV cameras, Harold Wenson with this report. Cameras. They come in all shapes and sizes, but there's one that's really different from the rest of them. The closed circuit television camera also known as the CCTV camera. These little cameras are scouted over every building and city that you've ever been in. They watch over us, deter people from crimes, and overall, they protect us. Now these things are very beneficial to society and individuals as a whole, but is there a thing as too much surveillance? Could you imagine being watched in your most private times? Currently, the only time you're really free from this surveillance is when you're at home or when you're in the public toilets. Alright, then I summon... Oh, Jesus! Is this the future? Will my movements be tracked even while I'm going to the toilet? This would only be okay if there were no longer people watching behind the cameras. What if technology got so advanced that the cameras no longer needed to have this? They had inbuilt artificial intelligence capable of deciphering what a crime is and then acting accordingly by calling the police or any needed security. If this were to happen, it would be much harder for people to argue that their privacy was being invaded when no human eyes were actually ever looking at their footage. Dystopians will always argue that a mixture of security, robots and artificial intelligence will always end out in a human vs robot brawl for world domination. But if you ask me, these people have been watching far too many science fiction films. Whether you love them or hate them, it's very hard to deny that CCTV cameras have done a lot of good work all over the globe. But really, can they be doing more? This is Harold Gwenson reporting and signing off. Now onto webcam security and a threat that could affect us all. Webcam hackers. Clarence Ferguson with this report. Today's increase in digital media and the growth in laptop distribution has seen a rising threat in online crime specifically the crime of webcam hacking. How safe do you think you are in the privacy of your own home? Statistics show that perhaps we should be more concerned and careful on our laptops and computers. According to a security vendor, Trend Micro, Australia has been the target of more than 224,000 ransomware attacks between April and May this year. But what dangers do these ransomware attacks mean for you at home? Well, these threats could leave users vulnerable to cyber surveillance attacks giving hackers access to control our devices, including our webcams. Hackers are now able to watch our every move and record us without us ever knowing. This is a major invasion of our privacy, with cases of victims reporting they have been recorded doing intimate things while thinking they are alone in the comfort of their own home. Cases such as the computer of Miss Teen USA, Cassidy Wolf, being hacked for one year, where the subsequent images were used to blackmail her into performing online sex acts. These threats are relatable to a Melbourne man by the name of Matt, who was blackmailed after being unknowingly recorded masturbating in the privacy of his own bedroom. These are extremely scary incidences, but very much a harsh reality. How many more cases like this could there be out there? What if someone has been recording you for months? How can you prevent this? There is a simple and effective way to prevent webcam hacking from happening to you at home. The easy solution is to block out your camera with tape leaving hackers in the dark. So remember, always stay aware. Someone could be watching you right this second. Clarence Ferguson, six minutes. Now onto the good form of watching others. We chat with the CCTV operator who watches other CCTV operators to make sure they are doing their job properly. Clarence Ferguson with more. With the growing concerns about CCTV operators without any regulations, and the potential to carry out unethical practices in control rooms, new measures have been put into place. Dave is a CCTV operator who makes a living from watching other CCTV operators. This control room is where Dave spends most of his time. Our reporter Harold Gwenson caught up with Dave to find out more about his role as a CCTV operator supervisor. So Dave, why don't you tell me a little bit about what you do? So I watch feeds of CCTV operators in their control rooms to make sure the operators are doing their job properly and they are not doing things they shouldn't be doing. 
So about how long has this job really been a thing? How long have you been able to do it? It's, uh, it's only a recent thing as people are only now becoming worried about the people watching them on the cameras without any regulation. So just in the past few months they've just introduced my job so it's really recent. And since you've been doing this, have you ever caught someone doing something wrong? Oh nah, not yet at least. I think they, because they're aware that they're being watched by a camera, they're like going to make more of an effort to make sure they're doing the right thing. So yeah. So you mentioned that people were worried about being watched without regulation. Who regulates you? And are you sure you're doing your job properly? Oh, that would be someone in a position like mine. So one of their observation screens would be in my operation room and vice versa. So in the end we're all being checked up on to make sure that we're doing our job properly. Thanks so much Dave. This has been very insightful. Best of luck to you. Good luck. Not a problem. Thanks for having me. That's all we have time for tonight on 6 Minutes. Have a great night and thanks for watching.